has maybe it's a brain with instead of like lo- dog legs, it's hippo legs. You know Grimace from like McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Front half Grimace, back half horse. Left half Grimace, right half horse. Think about that. Don't think about that. Don't do it. Bardic. Mystery. Tour. They're only friends. They're solving crimes. They're traveling in a party. They're writing songs. We don't have time to come on. Let's get started. Bardic Mystery Tour is a 5th edition D&D actual play about a rock and roll band who solves mysteries while they're out on tour. I'm Ed, and I'll be your DM. I'm Emily. I'm playing Flo Calhoun. If you don't know who that is, she's a wood elf and a bard. She's the lead singer of the band Antler Mayhem. She plays the cello. She generally tries to help people, and she's wearing an antler crown and bracers of archery. Hi, I'm Brayton. I'm playing Sammy Stoneslinger. Sammy Stoneslinger is a gnomish bard who plays the drums in the band Antler Mayhem. And I just read on my character sheet that I have a novelty straitjacket that I don't remember where I got it from. Sammy is the best bard of the bunch, and that's the all I have to say about that. Hi, I'm Grumbledore. I'm feeling old as shit after we, uh, we did bad in the quiz show. Last time on Bardic Mystery Tour, the gang got a strange offer to play a show if they babysit the daughter of a wealthy venue owner. They were asked to entertain her by giving Zeta the experience of solving a mystery. Upon arrival, the gang discovered that her favorite toy was missing, a stuffed rabbit named Fluffy. We join them as they separate the guests of the tea party for interrogations. This is Bardic Mystery Tour. Have you never babysat? This is what you do. Yeah, but... Okay. So now I'm going to say to Zeta, can you ask these guests who has last seen Fluffy? Nobody's seen Fluffy for like a week. A whole week? Yeah, I can't find him anywhere. Okay. Keep an eye on these guests and I'll be right back. Okay. And then I go downstairs and find the maid. Okay. I'm like, hey. She's like, what? I'm busy. Hey, we're looking for this stuffed rabbit. Yeah, I know. It's all she talks about. You haven't seen it anywhere? No. Okay. It's nowhere in the house. Not in mixing the laundry? Nope. Already checked. Okay, thanks. Do you have any peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I can have? Yeah. I take a couple. She hands you a plate with four. She says, make Zeta eat lunch too. All right, cool. I take them upstairs. Wait, I go back down halfway up the stairs. Do you have any milk? Is there milk? Sure. I just go in the fridge and I take the gallon of milk, but no cups. It's going to go in the tea party. I go back upstairs. It's going to be a smelly, smelly tea pot later. Okay. I just wanted, I thought maybe that might be a quick solution to this, to this whole problem. I look around the the room while I'm quilting this thing with no help from Zector. Hector. Hector. Uh, Are there any plants, potted plants or otherwise in this room? Mm, No. Are there any trees outside the window? That you can see from the window. Like you can reach from the window? No, just that you can see out the window. Yeah. Like far away though. There's like a ground around and then there's like houses that are close to like, so they're not like, I say a ground, I mean like. Like a ground of coffee? No, like like grounds, like on the grounds, like the. Yeah, like the area around the house. Yard? There's a yard? Property? Garden? Yeah. If you're British. Yeah, what do you call a garden that doesn't have like. Plants in it, just grass, rock garden, a lot, a zen a garden, a lot, yeah, a lot. Um, he's not taking it. I make sure everybody eats a sandwich. Mm. Thanks, Sammy. Thanks, Sammy. Yep. All right, so let's get back on the case. I'm gonna search the other rooms in this house. I'm gonna take her sheets off her bed and like make sure it's not just at the bottom, like stuffed way down, and look under the mattress and stuff in this room. All right, roll an investigation. Seventeen. Sammy, are you rolling an investigation? Oh, I thought that. The, okay. Twenty-three. Eleven. Grundler, where are you searching? Under all the cushions. What cushions? There's no cushions under the mattress of her room. Her bed. So while Flo's unmaking the bed, you're oh, also... Oh, she's undoing... I wasn't paying any attention. I don't know. I'll just look around. Generally around. All right. Grundledore continues to search the playroom. 
Flo tears the bed apart. I look under that bed, too. And Sammy checks the rest of the house. Oh, there's. A, I can check the whole house? Yeah, that's what Sammy was I'm doing. I'm going to go to the basement, then. Okay. See if they have a sump. Uh, Sammy, you check most of the house pretty thoroughly in your mind before the maid sees you again and goes, uh, you don't have to. I mean, it's got to be in the playroom somewhere. Like, there's no... I mean, I don't even care about the bunny. Like, I think you should be with her if you're getting paid to be with her. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if the bunny was in the room, then it would have been found by now. You sure are spending a lot of effort trying to keep me from finding this bunny. Oh, I just already looked all over for it. I think the bunny's gone. Just give up on it and just hang out with her. You would love that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Is there anything spillable around? Uh, there's like a vase with a fl- with flowers in it. I'm like, oh, I'll go do my job. And then as I walk away, I cast Prestidigitation and knock the vase over. And then I say, oh, looks like maybe you should do your job. She's like, thanks, Sammy. I didn't do that. It just fell over. There's poltergeists. You cast a spell. Yeah, but she didn't hear it because I was so quiet. It has a verbal component. It's literally a song you sing. Uh, Grundledor, you check the basement. It's pretty clean for like a dirt basement, but it's like a dirt basement. So there's like uh, canned goods and stuff down there. Like what kinds? Beets. I'll eat them. I eat All the of the beets? There's a lot of beets. I eat one container of beets. Okay. Pickled beets or regular beets? One of each. One container what? of each? Yes. Oh, I guess you're right. Never mind. I take it back what I said. You don't have to pickle all your beets. I take it back, I said. Pickled beets are sliced into very small cubes, and non-pickled beets are just left in slices. That's only true in some households. That's not how I do it. That's the only way I've ever seen them. I just pickle the whole beet. It was like my mom's way of determining which one was which, was how she cut them. When she, so she'd have to label them? When she canned them, yeah. All right. No one finds the bunny or anything particularly suspicious. How many windows are in this bedroom? This playroom? There's a bed. Yeah, why is there a bed in the playroom? For some reason, I thought this yeah, was wait, a bed. Yeah, wait, why was there a bed? You okay. would have said there was a bed. And inst- you went with it. Instead of her bed, I searched the no, closet. There's like a toy bed. Oh, great. I searched it. That's for, like, napping in the playroom. Her extra bed. I, I checked her real bed. Yeah. Okay. How many windows are in this playroom? Um, two. I look out each of those windows. What do I see? The yard. But I look down and up and stuff. I don't see, like, the suicidal bunny hanging on because she was playing with it out there. Nope. I don't, kids are weird, man. Do I, I don't find anything in the basement. Nope. I'll go back up, and I want to ask this, uh... Zeta girl. So, am I hot or cold? You hid the bunny, didn't you? No, it's gone. It was kidnapped. I'm going to intimidate the child to the best of my ability to get her to confess to hiding the uh, bunny if she did. I'll burn my teeth in a snarl. I get down in her face. Where'd Where'd you put the bunny? Am I hot or cold? A 15. Yeah, I mean, that's still pretty freaking intimidating. She gets really scared. She goes, please don't scare me. I, I know. I'm not going to scare you. I'm going to eat you if you don't tell me where the bunny is. I don't know where the bunny is. I just want him back. He's my favorite toy, and I miss him a lot. And I just want him back, and he's gone. I don't know where he went. I, I pull Grunga back. I'm like, all right, hey, buddy. You know, she's had a tough day. Hey, we you now know. know the truth. She's a good kid. Too bad I had to make her cry to find that out. I hug her. Well, I ask her if she wants a hug. Because some people don't like hugs. Yeah. I'll hug you. Okay. I hug her. Do you want some milk? And then I hold up the teapot. Did you put milk in my teapot? Hot milk. Are you going to wash that? My dad said no liquids in the teapot. It's just going to make a mess and get all in the carpet. We can cast spells to clean up the mess. It's okay. Let's go empty that milk into like a, a random house plant. It'll take the maid man forever to figure out what the smell is. Um, we just pass around the teapot until we drink all the milk. And now it's time to follow some leads. You're drinking the milk out of the teacups? Mm-hmm. She's like, oh boy. Those have like never been cleaned. That's fine. Okay. Roll a fortitude check. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, constitution. I got a two. 
All right. Sammy's tummy hurts a little bit. That's fine. I'm. It's no problem. I'll just get some whiskey in a little bit. Hey, Zeta. Yeah? Do you have any treasure maps? I think so. Can you get them, please? Okay. She goes over to this other chest. It's not that treasure chest looking thing, but it's like a, it's just a set of shelves. And she gets this um, map and she brings it over and she's like, this is a treasure map. Oh, what's, what's the area it covers? It's like a fantasy area you've never seen before. It's like islands and like. So it's not her house. It's not like her treasure map she made. No. All right. I look in that treasure box. She's like, are we going to find a treasure? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. What's, uh, what's in that treasure chest? Uh, sometimes I keep toys in there. Can we look? Sure. The treasure chest is like almost three feet wide and like a foot or so deep. Not huge. What's in it? We open it. All right, you open it and there's nothing in it right now. Okay. She's like, sometimes, sometimes they hide in there though. Who does? You know, Fluffy or Zill or Hector. What are they hiding from? Well, you play hide and seek. Oh, were you playing hide and seek the last time you saw Fluffy? No, we were just having tea. And did she disappear in the middle of your tea party? No, but I went to bed and when I woke up, he was gone. Oh, he. Sorry. Did you sleep in this bed in this room? No, I went to bed in my bed that night. Did you chuck under that bed for Fluffy? Yeah. He's not there? He's not there. And you checked all the blankets and stuff. In this room? What other people have access to this room? Just the people that live here. Who is Who all is that? You, your dad, the maid, and the cook. And the cook? There's a cook. Yep. What's the cook's name? Mm, Brian. Did Brian make those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that we ate earlier? It's not Brian with an X. But yeah. is it Brian with a Y? No. But is it Brian with uh, who made the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches we ate earlier? Probably. He makes most of the food. All right. I'm going to find making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know what I'm saying? What? Like you use a you knife? Don't really a spoon. You like make construct it. Yeah, right? Yeah, like just he didn't it. grow the berries and it's mash like, up the peanuts. It's just some assembly required. All right, Grungo, I think it's time to get your intimidation ready again. Because we got to get down and question Brian. Okay. Should we bring Flo, Zeta with? No, Flo, you watch Zeta. Okay. Hey, Zeta. Yeah? Let's put away some of your toys. Maybe if we clean up a little, we'll find some clues. Um, okay. The room's not really that big of a mess, though. It's okay. She's like, you want to put everybody on the shelves? Yeah, I'm okay. distracting her from them leaving. Okay, she starts putting all the stuff on the shelves. Except for Xerxes, who doesn't go on a shelf. Now, there's another table that's, like, taller, bedside table kind of height and size, but it's not, like, a bedside table that's that she on. puts that cage on, yeah. Okay. She's like, you want to feed Xerxes? Yeah. Okay. She has a bunch of, like, crickets or something in, like, a small container beside it. Is there any sign that Xerxes accidentally ate a rabbit that's not a real animal? Did I say he's an iguana? Mm-hmm. Yes. Do they eat crickets? I think they're vegetarians. What? Are crickets vegetables? No. But pepperoni is, so. Because it's made out of peppers, right? All right, you guys are going to talk to Brian? Yes. Okay. Yes, right. they are vegetarians. We should good cop, bad cop it. Wait, what? Yeah. We had a lizard and it ate crickets. Yeah, but it wasn't an iguana. It was not an iguana. Fine, she doesn't have crickets. She has like a bowl of lettuce. All right, we feed it some lettuce. Go talk to Brian. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, we walk in the kitchen. Well, 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 if it isn't Brian. There's a guy there wearing a cook uniform and he goes, how's it going, babysitter? Not too bad, cook. Good. We're just looking. We're on the hunt for a missing toy. We're wondering if maybe you saw oh, that around bunny? the house. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. We've been looking for it for a week. Are you sure you don't know where the bunny is? Yeah, buddy. I am. I'm going to try to intimidate him. I invite him to have a seat at a table. I begin picking my tusks with my silver dagger. Does it hurt? I'm bleeding while I do it. So, yes. 27. He's like, listen, buddy, we don't need to get all serious here. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know where the rabbit is. 
I don't want any trouble with you. I don't know why you're acting violent around me. Like, I'm going to maybe suggest that we don't hire you guys anymore because that's really weird. I'm like, hey, cool, cool down, Grungo. And I push him back a little. Like, and I get a glass of water and I bring it over to Brian. I try to convince Brian I'm his friend now. No, wait. With wait, some deception. You, Intimidate him into being. <laughs> I thought that you were a bad cop and I was oh, a good you got, cop. It. Okay. Did you guys fine. say that in front of him? You didn't tell that to me. I said that literally before we came in the fucking door. Well, I'll keep being bad then. I'm like, hey. I, so I bring a glass of water over to Brian, and I'm like, hand it to him. I'm like, hey, man, are you thirsty? He's like, thanks. He puts it down next to another glass of water. He was already drinking. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. You know, Grungo, he just gets so impassioned about the job, you know? Uh, yeah, I know how babysitting is real vigorous. I hop up on the counter and I have my legs crossed. My top leg is kind of bouncing up and down at the knee. And I get out my pack of cigarettes and I put one in my mouth and then I offer him a cigarette. He's like, we like you shouldn't smoke inside the house. I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah, it's just it's just so hard, you know, sometimes trying to find all these runaways. You know, I'm sure it would be helpful if some of the other people around here would help out. There's not a runaway. And what do you call a missing rabbit? I don't care about the rabbit. Did you cook it and feed it to your patrons? No, it's made out of, like, cloth and, like, cotton. I don't know if you're sick or not. I'm not sick. You fed a girl her own fabric rabbit, didn't you? You called it carrot soup. Carrot soup? Why would I call it rabbit soup? Because they're made of carrots. They eat. What? So are they need more carrots to replace the parts that have broken? Like a carrot cake. That's just rabbit cake, right? <laughs> I guess. All right. If you don't know how to make a carrot cake, I'm starting to think you're not really a cook. I'm not a baker. I'm a cook. I just look at him. I stare him down I do a bake bit. on the side, though. Like that bread, I baked it. All right. You think I don't make my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches from literal scratch? I got the raspberries I picked this morning. I got peanuts fresh from the... Elephants. Whatever they grow out. <laughs> All right, well, we don't have enough information to detain you, but don't leave town. I work here. Why would I leave? Then I hop down off the counter. I ask him, yes. Why would you? And I intimidate one more time. I only rolled a 15 that time. He's like, I wouldn't. And listen, it doesn't have to get, you don't have to be in my face. Like, I just, can you please stop it? I'm just trying to, I made lunch. I'm just going to hang out until it's time to start dinner. Like, I don't even work full time. I just cook three meals a day and then call it a job. And I only feed three people, four people. <laughs> and one of them gets to be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Also, can you put some coffee on that we can come back and get later? Fine, I'll make you coffee. Thanks. All right, Flo. Zeta's like, now that we're done cleaning, you know what I think we should do? What do you think we should do? We should hide, and then when the boys come back, we'll jump out and surprise them. I think that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Where should we hide? Well, I like to hide under the bed. Do you want to hide in the chest? I don't think I'll fit in the chest. Okay. Do you want to hide? Did you, you see want to it? hide under the bed, and I'll hide under the chest. Will I fit under the bed? No, it's pretty low. How is she going to get under the chest, Emily, is what you should be thinking. What? Inside of it. She said under the chest. Did she? I just assumed she meant inside of it. You can hide under the tea table. I don't think it's big enough. Remember how you're a child and I'm an adult elf? I'm very tall. It's fine. I will just uh, cast invisibility on myself and stand in the corner really quiet. Okay. Where do you want to hide? Um, under the bed. Okay. I always hide under the bed. Okay, hide under the bed. Okay. All right, I cast invisibility on myself and I stand in the corner. Okay. So I can see if she tries to leave. We need some answers, and we need to get inside. Invisibility. Just a spell to help me hide. So, Sammy and Grungo, do you wait till he's done brewing coffee? Oh, I thought he was going to bring it up to us. Okay. So you go back up to the room? Yes. Yes, let's go. All right, you enter the room, and there's nobody there. Where'd they go? Son of a... We were worried about who kidnapped the bunny, but Flo was kidnapping the girl the whole time. If I see Flo again, I'm going to shatter her. Roll a perception check. Kidnapper. I won't stand for this. 20. You hear a giggle from under the bed. <laughs> mm, I see what's going on here. Flo's under the bed. All right, I motion to Grungo 
to the, I'll sneak around the far side and he stays on this side and we'll bend some. Oh, you want me to shatter the bed? No. Okay, I go around the other side. Sneaking. 17. Nine. But while they're doing that, because I can see them, I'm sneaking up on them and ready to shout boo as loud as possible. Okay. Do I have to do a sneak check? Yeah, you got to do a stealth check with advantage and Sammy. Are you sneaking up on Grunga or Sammy? Uh, Sammy. All right, Sammy, roll a perception check. 30. Eight. All right, what are you doing? I'm sneaking around the far side of the playbed. All right, you're on the far side of the playbed. And is Grungo on the other side? Yeah. And then I hold up my hand as a fist. And I hold up my index finger. Then one amount of time, like one second later, I hold up my second finger also. And when he's about to say three, but before he's even ready to throw up his third finger, I'm like, boo! And I shake him on the shoulders. And you turn visible? No. Oh. I freak out. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Grunko, they got us! Run! Get the girl! Get out of here! Shatter! <laughs> oh, no. I accidentally shatter the window. Okay. Or I'm gonna bust you up. My thunder hits like a truck. Wow! Shatter! Do you want to roll damage on it, or I don't think you really need to. It's best if I don't. And Zeta sticks her head out front of the window, and she goes, boo! Ah, I shatter the other window. <laughs> She's like, holy crap, the windows! Shatter! Oh, man. Oh. oh. I, I'm like, haha, we got you good. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, that cost me two level two casts. We broke the windows. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Well, you're going to get in so much trouble because you broke the windows. Oh, no. Because that's what the adults are going to tell the other adults. Yeah. Mm. And this is a valuable lesson to learn about pranking people. And trusting adults. Never trust adults. We're going to frame you every time to save ourselves. Speaking of framing, maybe we can reframe these windows. (laughs) We know a child won't be punished nearly as much as we will. So we make them the fall guy. Can I can I cast yeah. mending on the windows or is it just too far gone? Yeah, you can gone? mend windows. All right, I cast mending on the windows. Okay. Probably like thirty thousand times, but at least twice. Yeah. If it's just a tiny tear from misuse or regular bear, I can fix it good as new. So your dad'll be proud of you. All right, then the door opens up and the maid comes in and she says, what is going on in here? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't come into your place and start making messes for you to clean up. That's not true. I'm going to let Flo handle this from now on. I'm still invisible. No, you cast mending. I'm like, oh, hi, I'm sorry. We, we're just playing. We're having a good time. You can go back to cleaning if you want. What's all the noise? Oh, it sounded um, like there was an explosion. Yeah, well, so... Well, we're a rock band. Yeah, we rock really hard. You guys are a rock band? I thought you were detectives. No, we're both. We have, like, dual duty. So what happens is we go into town to play a show, and then, like, there's always a problem. I don't know what... We're so unlucky. And so, you know, we have to figure out... Well, there's no problem in Grand Argetza. Well, huge city. kind of city is... There kind of is... What's the problem in Grand Argetza? Just that this Fluffy rock band is missing. let out a vampire. If we don't find Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy is we'll missing. We'll never defeat Lady Vaya. Fluffy's gone. Fluffy's the Forget secret ticket. Forget about him. And then Zeta Why are you so crying. anxious to have us forget about Fluffy? Did you destroy Fluffy? Why did you break her? Him. It. She rolls her eyes and closes the door. Walks away. And Zeta stops, starts crying. And she's like, is Fluffy gone forever? Maybe. Oh, we no. don't. We don't know for sure. <laughs> We're gonna try to help you find him, though. Okay. Do you want another hug? Yeah. I'll give her another hug. Buffy's my best friend. Hey, Zeta. Does anything unusual ever happen in this house? No. Zeta. What? How old are you? Eight. Okay. I need you to be brave. Get in the chest. Why? 
Is there something that happens in the chest? No. Was she Sometimes. Lying? Do you want to get in the chest? Sure. Okay. But before I get in the chest, I cast Detect Magic. Because I'm afraid I'm going to be teleported to a different dimension. <laughs> can't see it, and that's tragic, but I can with Detect Magic. The chest is not magical. All right, I get in it. Okay. She closes it, and she's like, check this out. And she reaches in her shirt, and she pulls this key out that's on a string, and she locks the chest. And then she unlocks the chest, and she opens it up, and there's a little Sammy Stone Slinger action figure. She's like... Now Sammy's an action figure. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey there, groupies. It's your favorite DM Ed. Just saying thanks for listening. I think you guys are all awesome. Uh, we got a lot of news today. So we sent out uh, C-Sides and B-Sides to our distributor. So that should be hitting Spotify and Pandora and stuff like that uh, any day here, hopefully today, because I want to listen to it myself. But also, it's already on Bandcamp, so if you want to, you can go get it at Bandcamp and get the uh, mastered version of all the tracks. They're in a new order, and there's uh, some updates to them, so you can see if you can find the updates on those, because they're pretty exciting. Uh, Also, we have a few updates on Redbubble, which, I mean, you know, it's Redbubble, so it's tough, but uh, if you wanted to buy pins, you can buy pins now. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing them, but we've been putting a couple videos out with uh, spell songs. So if you want to check those out, make sure you check them out. You can always find them on our social media. Check out our Facebook. Check out our Twitter. uh, Find our Patreon. Um, I think that's everything. Anyway, thanks for listening. And back to the show. No, no, no. Zeta. Yeah. Can you change him back into Sammy, alive Sammy again, please? I think so. And she puts the action figure back in and she closes the chest and she pulls her key out. She locks it and she unlocks it and she opens it up and the action figure is still there. And she's like, um, that usually works. Usually. How many times has it not worked? None. I don't have a lot of real friends. I mostly turn Xerxes into a toy and then turn him back. Is Xerxes still... Oh. Xerxes is the lizard. The lizard. Do I have any capacity to talk or move or anything? Uh, is he even aware? We'll get to you in a minute. Um. Does anybody know that you do this trick? No, because Zell told me not to tell anyone about this key. Um. Does that key work on any other locks? Yeah. Do you want to try on the closet? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'd love to. All right. You guys get in the closet. No. Well, someone has to get in the closet. I'm thinking about all these toys. Like, none Where's of- the cook? <laughs> Let's go get the cook. We need you to stand in the closet real quick. <clears throat> and there's no good cop to balance it out this time. I'll go look in the closet. Flo, don't let her near this closet. While yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I'm going to look you. around and see if there's anything in there. Zeta, can I see that key? Yeah, sure. She I am, like, you. hold on to it so that she can't, like, lock him in there. He says, Zill said that it doesn't work on adults. Like, adults can't use it, you're saying? <laughs> he said yeah. it didn't work. <laughs> Sammy's not an adult. He stunted himself into the body of a child from all those road beers. Yep. I rolled a nine investigation. Uh, There's, like, some boxes with, with toys in it, and there's, like, some clothes. Like dress up clothes, not like clothes you wear clothes. What kind of stuffed animals does he come across? Toys and stuff in there. It's a pretty good assortment. They're mostly mythological creatures. Are there any that seem like if it came to life, it wouldn't murder us? Like how if we put a Medusa ragdoll in there, probably going to turn to stone. And if we put in like the town guard, probably going to get sent to jail. And if we put this to Rask... Probably gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Like, are there any bunnies? Do the town guard. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably gonna be excited to not be trapped in an action figure. Yeah. So, the bunny might actually be eating its own poop right now. Yeah. And giant and pink and fluffy and floppy. All right, let's try that. Have you ever tried turning... What what all have you tried, little girl, turning into toys or turning into real life? 
creatures. Just Xerxes and um, Zill, whenever Zill needs me to do stuff. What does Zill need you to do? Sometimes she needs me to bring her stuff from outside that my dad has, and then I give them to her, and we put them in the box. Like what things? Um, Weapons or magic stuff, money. Okay. Stuff that's not really that important. Well, Zill likes to collect weapons. Okay. Hey, Grongo, how do you feel about putting this town guard in and seeing if he comes back to life? Yeah, we can kill him if we gotta. Uh, Zeta. Yeah? Was this town guard a real live town guard at one point? No. How did you get this action figure? We bought him at the store. Were you there when he was purchased? Uh, I think I got him for a birthday or something. From who? From my dad. <laughs> okay. The plot yeah. thickens. Cool. Well, what if we put him in this chest and we try to turn him into a person again? Just okay. To see. Or do you want to try the closet? What do you think? How do you turn Zill alive? In the chest or the closet? In the chest. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. We put Hector. Hector. Hector <laughs> into the chest and I give her the key and I say... Try it. Okay. And she turns the key, and then she unturns it, and she opens it, and the box is empty. Ooh, where'd he go? I don't know. Who gave you this chest? My dad. Okay. Did he ever tell you to climb in it? No. Did he ever tell you not to tell anyone to go into it? No. Are there any other things other than this chest that does magic when you The turn? chest isn't the magic. It's the key. Uh-huh. What does this key do in the closet? Oh, you want to try it? No. Uh, what do we have in there that we could put in safely? The bed. Do we need to talk to Zill? Maybe. Zill has a lot of weapons. I know. It has multiple arms to use multiple, multiple weapons, too. Yeah. He can hit you like four times in one turn. Man. Fun fact, all Zill are female. Okay. Her. Okay. And they lay their eggs in people, and then they burst out of them. That's horrifying. Let's not. From where? Just wanted you to know that. Let's not do that one. What other toys were in that closet box? Um, I don't know. There's other dolls. Let's try it with Xerxes. She's turned Xerxes back and forth, right? Let's see it. Yeah, where did, where, how did you turn Xerxes back and forth? Um, I put him in the chest. You want to do it again for us? Okay. Okay. She goes and she picks up the cage and she's like, all right, Xerxes, we're going for another trip. And she puts him in the box and she closes it. And she turns the key and she unturns the key and she opens it. And there's a cage with a little tiny Xerxes toy in it. Like one of those plastic, like squishable, like the mouth. Can you like turn it inside and it says for Affic Fark? You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Remember those, like, monster finger puppets? Oh, yeah. Uh, those, yeah. yeah. Do you remember, like, we get, like, dinosaurs and stuff that are like that? They're, like, squishy rubber. I was imagining those little pigs where you squeeze them and the turd comes out. Ugh. No. That's how I feel if I get a hug right now. And the tail, like, pops off and you can reattach it. Nice. But I want a hug. No. No. Okay. Can you turn him back? Yeah. You normally turn it back in this chest. Yeah, and she closes right. the chest and she turns the key and she turns it back and she opens it and Xerxes is there in the cage. Hmm. She's like, see? Did you not want Sammy to turn real when you tried it on Sammy? I want Sammy to turn real. Do you well, want Sammy? Where did Sammy? Let's. We got this cool action figure, though. It's pretty cool. Let's, tr- let's try him again in the closet. The action figure in the closet? The Sammy action figure, yeah. Okay. We gonna take everything out of the closet? Well, there's enough room for. Yeah, but won't all of it turn to action figures? She like an action figure box and an action figure pile of. Well, just to clarify, the cage didn't change size at all. Just Xerxes. Yeah. Let me look at Sammy the action figure. Okay. I like inspect him. I want to like look at the bottom of his foot, see who he belongs to. You know. He's very handsome. See where he was made. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh. No Sharpie written letters on the feet, but the feet have like the little holes so that you can like stick them on like a skateboard or something and zoom them down. That shit was the best. Does his manta ray cloak come off? Is it like pop off his neck? Yeah, yeah. It has one of those little like rubber pins that goes through like a hole that's too small for it. Things Uh huh. that holds the manta ray on and his 
sling is in his hand and it just um if you underneath his manta ray cloak there's a like wheel and you can spin the wheel and it flings his arm around in a circle really fast that's sweet if you do it enough it goes critical miss i do it i do it a lot i want it to make that sound critical miss i do it again (laughs) critical miss um i think that i'm afraid to put sammy in that closet but if you think that we should do it, then we should do it. Krungo, are you afraid to put Sammy in that closet? Uh, not really. I'm just worried about the other stuff. Let's take everything out of the closet. Okay. And just leave Sammy in it. And okay. See. Then we'll f- possibly find out if the key is what's magic. What if we don't put anything in the closet yet and we just use the key on the closet door? Like we take everything out and just see what happens. If anything happens. Sure. Okay, we take everything out of the closet. Okay. And we say, Zeta, do the key thing to the closet. It's empty. Yeah. Okay. She uh, closes the closet door, turns the key, unlocks it again, and opens it, and there's nothing in it. What if we put the trunk in the closet? Yeah. And I don't lock I don't know. Sammy in the trunk and then lock the closet door. Then Hold on, before bring we them do back all out. this crazy Let's stuff. Let's do it to the guard. Okay, yeah. We put the guard in the closet. All right. Do it again. All right, she locks the closet, and she unlocks the closet, and she opens it up, and there's nothing in the closet. Wait, we already lost the guard. Oh. How did we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Screw you guys. Let's do it with the lizard, then. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Xerxes. Let's try Xerxes <laughs> in the closet. It comes out as a monster. <laughs> All right. There has to be, like, a place where they go. It's wherever the weapons cache is for Zill. It's probably inside that box. I look inside of Zill's box, like, under the spring area. Is there anything down in there? No, it's just like enough room to fit the Zill like into it. Okay. okay. So wait, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to think what I have on me that I could leave in there that I'd be okay with if we just lost it. But I like need all of the things I have. I have two horseshoes. I put one horseshoe. Why do you have horseshoes? In case you want to play a game of horseshoes, you don't want to be using the home all shoes. Right, yeah, all right. House shoes. Yeah, you don't use house shoes. You use horseshoes. I take one horseshoe, I put it in the closet. Okay. Can you do it again, Zeta? Yeah, she locks it, and she unlocks it, and she opens it, there's a horseshoe there. Okay, I pick up the horseshoe, I put it back in my bag. Grungo, I think we need to talk to Zill, but I'm afraid. Let's go get this girl's dad. Where? Oh shit, we have to wait for him to come back. Yeah, he's the problem. Hey Zeta. Yeah. Have you tried this key on many things other than just this chest and this door in the closet here? Nope. Just those two? Yeah. Okay. Are there any secret passageways in your house that you've found in your life? Yeah. Can you show us where they are? Yeah. Okay. Do the maid men know where these are? These passageways? So she takes you out into the hallway and down to the bathroom. And she's like, come on in here. Do you guys all go in the bathroom? <laughs> I'm following yeah. down the bathroom. Yeah. All right. She closes the door and she's like, Look, and then she opens the door on the other side of the bathroom, and it goes to, like, a master bedroom. (laughs) (laughs) It's a secret. It is a secret. This is a good secret. Um, I look around for a town guard action figure in the master bedroom. All right, roll an investigation check. Twelve. You don't find one. Okay. Do I find anything else that seems like it came from that chest? No, no toys. Just like a writing desk. Okay. Some important papers. Zeta, do you want to become an action figure? Okay. This is a bad idea. Yeah, I want to be an action figure. No, okay. don't. No, okay. you don't. Um, hang on. Grungo, got a question for you. Do you have any spells Let's that are like get the cook. detect magic? No. No? This is just going to be the adventures of Sammy and Zeta in the <laughs> bowels of hell. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go get the cook. Let's have him climb in the in the chest or the closet. All right. Okay. How I go are you down. gonna convince him? I'm gonna intimidate the shit out of him again. I go down to the cook. I knock on the door. What's up? Hey, buddy, you want to come upstairs? I need some help with some with some stuff. Well, I'm getting started on dinner now, so who are you feeding? You guys. You don't need to worry about me us. Me and Zeta, and the maid still doesn't have a name. Make some maid food real quick. And don't worry about the rest. The maid's name is Brianna. Brianna wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Put it on the counter. Write her name on it with jelly. Wait, on the inside or the outside? On the outside. Oh, she's a touch that. I thought you just picked up one. It's just Brian with an A on the end of it. 
Oh, they're all the same? There's only... Are you, are you the only person really employed here and you just play all the roles? No, the maid is also works here. You, that wasn't you dressed up? No. Okay. We just have similar names. Well, you should come come up to the... They're probably twins. They might be. We're not twins. Anyway, Cook, follow me. We need some. I need some help. Okay. Okay, good. I didn't have to intimidate him. Wait, I'm in the middle of cooking. Don't worry I'll about it. I'll take over here, and I cook. Yes, she's okay. going to finish. She's really good. Then why are they paying me? Don't worry. We're giving you the I day I don't off. want to babysit. You're, You're not, not babysitting. babysitting. Okay. Come on up. Follow me. Fine. Okay, we go up. All right. After they walk away, I walk away from the sandwiches because I don't care about them, and I want to make sure they're okay. Well, there's like a there's like a pot on the stove that's cooking. Okay, I turn it down to like none. Okay, we up in the room. Yeah, I tell the cook get in the chest. <laughs> I don't think I fit in the chest. I think you should get in the chest. I pick my tooth with my. Ooh, it's a natural twenty. Jesus Christ. No, that's a 32. He's like, all right, all right, I'm sorry, jeez, okay, jeez. He tries to climb in the chest, it's extremely tight. You can do it, you can do it. He's like, oh, I don't really fit in this chest. Luckily, the lid is like one of those rounded lids. You've been, you've like been, you've been feeding people head. here or just yourself? What? I just helped squish him the rest of the way. And all I, right, I close you managed to get it shut. Okay, let's have the little girl do the key thing. All right, she locks the chest. Then she unlocks the chest. Then you open it, and there's a Brian action figure. Sweet. Is he curled up in a ball? No. Okay. Does he have, like, a cleaver and then, like, a cleaver chopping motion? Yeah, I was going to say he has a pan, and he, like, flips an egg. There's, like, a little egg. He, like, flips the egg. I like the cleaver, though. You can. It's the same action, so you can either put the cleaver in his hand, and he, like, chops, or you can put the frying pan oh, in his Or like- you can just have an empty hand, and he... <laughs> <laughs> or is it, like, um... <laughs> The hand comes out at the wrist because the hand is a different shape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you can just, he's like that one He Man or the She Ra villain that had no hand. He had like different attachments. Well, so like the attachment like, is the hand. Yeah, there's like a the cleaver pan. with a hand holding it or like a pan with a hand holding it. Cause like when you flip an egg, your like palm is up. But when you use a cleaver, your palm's like to the side. But they both just go into the same arm. I gotcha. I like it. I use the same action for cleaving and for flipping. Does that mean I'm bad at both? You, when you use a cleaver, your palm is like up. Yeah, you're not. You don't cleave. I, like you're. I cleave backhanding this. down with the cleaver. Wait, I, I, I hold a pan like this and a cleaver like this. Yeah. When you flip an egg, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just go like this with the pan. Yeah. All or right. I use a spatula. Okay, bud. Yesterday I broke a spatula flipping an egg. But the egg didn't break, did it? That's what I like to call over hard. All right, his hand is attached to his body, and you put either a pan or a cleaver in his hand. It is a toy, after all. Okay, so should we take him to the closet? I don't know, man. (laughs) Let's do it. Can you turn him back into a human? Oh, let's try that first. Yeah. and He he was a human before? Yeah. yeah. Should we do this in the closet or the chest, though? I have no idea. Because they disappear when they, we put them in the chest, right? Yeah, I guess. Put them in the closet. You guys have, like, the least scientific approach to this. Did we already put... I can't even remember if we tried somebody in the closet. So what we did was we put Sammy in the chest. You tried someone that didn't exist anymore in the closet. Oh, so that's that what got, it was. That that's what. Erased. So we know that Sammy disappeared. We put Sammy in the chest, and he turned into an action figure. We put him back in the chest, and he stayed there. Sammy's not gone. Sammy's an action figure. He oh, I thought the action figure disappeared. No. So then we put the guard, the town guard, we put into the, well, he was already an action figure, and we put him into the closet, no, the chest, and he disappeared. Okay. So let's put the cook in the closet. Okay. And see what happens. <laughs> okay. If he disappears, we'll have to find somebody else. And then this is scientific. Then we'll put them in the chest and put the chest in the closet. And then we have like most of the variables covered here. I don't think we should put the chest in the closet. Let's put the action figure of the cook in the closet and have her lock and unlock the door. Okay. You put the cook action figure in the closet. She closes the door. She turns the key. She turns it back. She opens it. It's still there. Okay. Should we try this with the chest? In the closet. Hey, Zeta, can you just turn the key to the chest when there's nothing in it? I think we should have tea time with Sammy and the cook. Oh, yeah. Maybe the way to bring him back is to do it empty. What do you want me to do? Turn just turn the, the key while it's empty. While it's open? 
No. Well, it's closed. Oh, yeah. She closes the chest, turns the key, turns it back, opens it. It's empty. Do it once while it's open. Lock it while it's what open. What if we lock it and then bust it open while it's locked to see what magic's going on inside? That's how I figured out how, how like, my brain worked. You guys know the chest isn't magical and just the key is, right? I don't know if Sammy told them what was and wasn't magical. Well, okay. N- well, yeah, no, he didn't. You but just the, got but the in. girl says it's All magic. All Sammy said the was. The key is magic. Oh, the chest is not magical. I'll get in. Like, you just know that he cast detect magic and then he got in the chest, I guess. So we know the was, chest is magical. I wanted magical. to know if anything else was magical, but there's no way to know because Sammy didn't say, like, oh, all of these things are magical. Yeah, I also didn't look around. <laughs> Maybe he's in Narnia. Maybe this is the way to another campaign in the middle of our own campaign. This might be like the ultimate side quest. We go through the the wardrobe or the chest, and then we get to live an entire lifespan in Narnia, become kings and queens by our own hands, come back here to our, at least my old decrepit body, and then I can finish up being an asshole orc for a couple decades. Zeta, can I look at that key again? Sure, she gives you It's the, the only way to get back the time we lost playing Jeopardy. Grendeldor, will you please cast Identify on this key? I have that spell. <laughs> Shit, okay. I cast Identify. It looks like... Well, it seems obvious. And it smells like... Well, surprising. If it tastes like... Oh. God must be. Grundledor, this is called the Key of Ether. The Key of Ether? And it opens a gate. I wrap it in a rag and I (laughs) inhale. It might be the Key of Ether. Does the key get me high? It's called the Key of Ether and then... It opens a gate to the ethereal plane. In a mysterious manner that's unknown to the scholars of the day. Mm. Grenador, what else do you know about this key? Like, is there a way to get people back once they go to this place? Uh, you don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, do I know? Like, from my brain, know, knowing now that I know that it's called the yeah, key. Roll an arcana check. 23. Nope. Okay. So if this transported. Uh, Sammy to another realm. He might be in trouble right now. Yeah, maybe. He might be fighting a Medusa and a Zill at the same time. Yeah, we should probably help him. And um, the Tarask. Zeta. But that sounds like a hopeless fight, and it would be suicide for us to go. Zeta, who gave you this key? Zill. Zill gave this to you. Yeah. Where did you meet Zill? Um, in my playroom. Like, who gave Zill to you? No, Zill came to me. From where? From the chest. Who gave you the chest? My dad. So your dad gave you the chest, and inside of the chest was the chest locked? Who gave you the key? No. Zill. Zill gave you the key? Yeah. So Zill... Oh, I see. Um, can I look at Zill? Sure. Is there, like, a hole, like, key-sized hole somewhere on his music box, jack-in-the-box thing? No. When Zill came to you, did Zill ever look... What did Zill look like? Was Zill a toy? Or no. Zill, Zill was... Yeah, Zill was like five and a half feet tall. Okay. Was he nice? It's still she. Oh, sorry. Was she nice? Uh, yeah. She said I could help her. Help her by getting her weapons. Yeah. And then... And money. And then you turned her into a toy? Yeah. Why? And when? She told me to. So that people wouldn't know that she was real. Yeah, but sometimes she tells me to turn her back. Can you turn her back, please? Okay. Uh, Should we do this? Yeah. Okay. She takes the zill in the box and puts it in the chest and closes the chest and puts the key in and locks it and unlocks it and then opens it and outbursts a zill. Roll initiative. 11. 19. You guys are both first. Flow, you're up. Okay. Hey, Zill. I need your help. We're not here to kill you. But we are here to thrill you. And then I cast Lightning Arrow. No, wait. <laughs> I'm not here to kill you. Boom! No, no. Okay, fine. Why Why don't we have the girl talk to Zill? I say, I, um, we're not here to kill you. 
and I draw my my bow. Just guard. And I just say, guard. I will shoot you if you try to attack me, though. We just want to ask you some questions. So you're ready in an action that if Zill attacks you, you attack Zill. Yes. Okay. Grundledor. Or if Zill attacks Grundledor. Because okay. I want to talk to this lady. Okay. Grundledor. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go on defense and prepare an attack of my own. Two-handed maul if I get attacked. Okay. Then Zeta says, no, Zill, these are my friends. And then Zill says, and reaches out and grabs Zeta. And then Zeta throws her hands up in the air and says, no, and drops the key. And then Zeta and Zill blink out of existence. Oh, shit. And then the key falls and lands on the ground. And we're in this playroom, and there's no Zeta, and there's no Zill, and Sammy's an action figure, and there's a key on the ground. Yep. Perfect. And your bad babysitters. And that girl's father is going to come looking for all of us. Don't tell dad. The babysat is gone. We already have a criminal record. We <laughs> now we're gonna be kidnappers on top of it. He was nice enough to hire us knowing we were criminals, and we just in his mind just proved him the biggest fool. And there's no dinner. And there's no dinner. Oh well, there's a near dinner. It's just it's simmering. Yeah. How can they change Sammy back? Where is Hector? And has the Zill been a real Zill this whole time? Commanding Zeta to collect weapons. Find out next time on Bardic Mystery Tour. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Bardic Mystery Tour is recorded at Looking for Group Pittsburgh. Looking for Group Pittsburgh is a land center in the Brookline neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you're in the area, stop by for games, co-working, or events. Find more information or schedule your next party at lfgpgh.com. That's how I figured out how doorknobs work. My mom hated that. <laughs> but now I know how doorknobs work. And she only had to replace like two or three doors when yeah. I was a kid. Entire dude. doors. Well, just know. the mechanism of the doorknob. Because they had to break the door down to get in the bathroom. Well, I broke like the strike plate off of one. Uh, we broke the door down because we were fighting. I also kicked it in one time. Yeah. When my sister and I had to go to the bathroom, one of us would be like, I have to pee. And the other would run to the bathroom. I usually could make it to the bathroom first. Mm-hmm. So I go in, I'd lock the door. And uh, there's this way to unlock the door from the outside, but you had to go get like a nail and like get stick it in there. <laughs> it's called the no. key. <laughs> no, there, there was no key. It was just like a weird hole. Oh, just like the little hole you need, like that weird, like something thin. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a paper. And she'd go do that. But meanwhile, like I'd get the plunger from next to the toilet. And as soon as that door opened, the plunger came out at her face. And I'd chase her all around with the <laughs> plunger. And she has to probably piss like a racehorse while I'm doing this. But yeah, she no, never our, peed herself. Our bathroom door opened like toward our sink. And so I would be like, you know, trying to kill Brayden or something. Yeah. And he would run into the bathroom. And like I could just push the door down when he was like... <laughs> <laughs> holding it shut so he would like brace his legs against the sink you can, yeah you can and his back against your back the, against the sink okay and your legs against the door or the other way around but then so then i couldn't get the door open but that was but it was in still, a hallway still mid trying to kill brayton so i just put my back against the wall across the door or hallway from the bathroom 
put my feet on the door, but my feet were at the ground level, and Brayton's back was at like mid height of the, the door. Sink height level, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just like twisted the door until yeah. it just we like, torqued that door ripped. right off its hinges. <laughs> but like it ripped the hinges out of the wood. Though. Yeah, yeah. It didn't break the hinges. The hinges didn't give first. The like door, door jam frame, yeah. gave first. So that was broken for most of our childhood. Yeah. Our parents hated that. Yeah, they're probably going to be excited to hear this in the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We had like a sheet for a bathroom door for a long time. Yeah, because it was because it had Our to bathroom get growing up was similar like, to it had to be broken into probably because I locked myself in. It was like <laughs> thing. It was real funny and <laughs> it got busted up. <laughs> yeah, it's like why should we fix this? You're gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, we would have broke that again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I, we may have actually. They may have fixed it and we might have broken it again. <laughs> 